Michelin are obviously famous for motorsport, but probably more importantly for us is their road car technology. So what we're working with them on is using real road tires, but in a racing environment. We're in France, uh, we've got a long day ahead of us. We'll be doing lots of tests to collect enough data to do torque vectoring development. We'll be doing skid pads to begin with. It's basically driving around a large roundabout and trying to induce understeer as we go along. Uh, so the faster, the larger the roundabout, the faster we can go, uh, the more dangerous it gets and uh, we'll see the car understeering, oversteering, we'll be losing control. But we're looking for the data just before that happens. That's the key for torque vectoring development. Well, what we're doing really is understanding the tyres and what we're doing is comparing what steering wheel input you put and what the body of the car does. And what we're basically doing is getting that information so that we can put that into the AI controller and say, if I do this at this speed, is the tyre going to grip and go around the corner or is it not? So that's really what we're trying to understand. Well, the goal of this week is that we will be able to test in many different environments, going straight, fast, slow, wet, dry, which are used by you know, normal cars, but that's the reality. And that's where, with RoboRace, we're going to learn how the autonomous car needs to react. We are convinced that working with RoboRace together, we will really accelerate that field, which is key for the time of tomorrow. So we've had a lot of successes, uh, the data that we got out was exactly what we wanted, nothing failed, the car was extremely robust throughout the whole of the testing. So that output data that we get from that is crucial for our development with the vehicle. Yeah, so it's the end of the day at Michelin, but we've got all the data finally, we've just analysed it and we've got exactly what we needed for the torque vectoring controller development. We're looking for those small bits of data just before the car loses control to correlate it back to our model. And what we're going to do, we'll implement that in the future and the car will get much, much faster. You know, the partnership with RoboRace is something both very new, but also it stays in the spirit of motorsport. And that's the reason why the project is so successful so far.